This has not been printed anywhere. It came it came directly from the set. Oh, okay. So a little bit I'm, of an exclusive then. Yeah, we kinda yeah. do. You kinda do. All right, guys, here in Yorkshire, Cosplay Comic Con with Kerrigan Mahan. How are you doing, man? Hey, man. Good, Good to see you. you. Great like, to be here. Are you looking after you? Oh, this is great. Are you kidding? I still just got to figure out how to get a Starbucks. Starbucks? Yeah, Starbucks. Are they around here somewhere? I'm sure yeah, you find Yeah, yeah, about two minutes, three minutes down the road there. I'm, 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 I'm working on that. Otherwise, man, this place is awesome. It took you long enough to come over to the UK, didn't it? <laughs> you know, it's the first time I've been invited. Really? Shocking. And I'm having a ball. These people are so nice. Right. So I've got uh, three questions I'll ask all the rangers from our website. Sure. Uh, first one, um, are you doing anything at the moment? Any projects? Well, I'm actually, I, I have a couple of screenplays in development. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of writing right now. Um, as far as voice goes, voiceover, I do jobs on occasion. I drive down to Los Angeles on occasion. I live on the central coast of California now. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I did a film a couple of years ago, uh, played The Evangelist in a movie called um, Angels and Stardust, starring Alicia Silverstone. And that still can be seen on Netflix. I'm about halfway in. I'm very funny, if I do say so myself. Okay, question number two. Um, if you could change anything about the Power Rangers universe, what would you change and why? You know, quite frankly, I, 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 think, I think I needed to win a, a little more mm. and, and, and create storylines around, you know, some serious winning. Mm. and beating them and they're being in bigger trouble sometimes than they ever were. Mm. I think that's that's maybe where I would have gone if I had anything to do with the storylines. Mm. I mean for me my all-time personal favorite Goldar storyline was of course Return of an Old Friend. We stole the power coins. Yeah. That was one of my favorite episodes of all time obviously because Green Ranger came back, Goldar was on the winning side for at least one episode. Yeah, one episode. Awesome. Yes, I remember it. I remember it well. And it, it Cyclops felt, it of felt course. Good. Who could forget Cyclops? Right. Speaking of Cyclops, is there any news on legacy stuff for yourself? Like legacy Goldar, Legacy Cyclops, have you heard anything? I, I don't, you know, we, we don't hear anything more than, uh, you know, I'm sorry to say, we're as in the dark as you are. Mm. You know, you, want, you think the, oh, maybe we know more, or somehow we, we're, we're told more. And I'm, I'm a little surprised at this point that I haven't heard anything about the movie. Really? I don't know any more than you do. It's supposed to be a reboot, and it's like, well, then... I know they're being quite hush-hush about it, the whole hush, thing. Hush-hush, and apparently uh, the filming is finished, and I have been told on good authority that Goldar is in it. Now, the question is, am I a third-act cliffhanger, or am I a second-act cliffhanger? But I believe Rita is... I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that because I, I don't. This has not been printed anywhere. It came. It came directly from the set. Oh, okay. So. No, but we have an exclusive then. Yeah, we kind of do. You kind of do. And I don't have any details. I just know he he, he has not been um, left out. Wicked. So Goldar is in the 2017 movie at some stage. At least we have that's, that now confirmed. That's that's what I have been told by uh, uh, somebody that I trust. Wicked, that is awesome. Okay, and question number three. If you could induct anyone into the Power Rangers Hall of Fame besides yourself, who would you choose? Oh, clearly Barbara Goodson, Rita Repulsa, Rita. unquestionably. And you know, Rita or Barbara, somehow the insanity that she actually wound up not having an action figure through the years. Mm that counted is we all find completely insane and the one we got recently with the seminar release that was well it's not the best no. action figure they've ever done and it? you know i mean it's crazy i mean the part about that that makes no sense is it would have really sold mm. i mean if she'd had a nice big action figure like like i did mm. i have a feeling she would have uh, conceivably you know sold equally as much as much as i or 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 more Mm. And it's like, why? What happened there? Well, we have hopes with the new Legacy line. I know they haven't confirmed any figures past and the we, Rangers. And as we certainly yet. know that 
that Rita is in the new movie. We know that, we know that and we know that. a star is playing her. So, you know, if Rita's in it, I have to believe I'm going to show up somewhere. I mean, let's face it, I'm the only dude that went down and kicked ass. Yeah, I mean, they're not the same these days, the no. generals. They're just... Goldar was badass. Well, it, <laughs> maybe, maybe it mirrors the day and age period. I don't know. Maybe, right? maybe. Just can't be the originals. Okay, thank you. All so, right. Um, obviously, you haven't received enough votes to get into the Hall of Fame this time, but then that brings us on to our next topic. Ask them why they haven't voted for you. Why in the hell haven't you voted for me? I beat the hell out of Trump all day long. So go to YouTube, go to my Facebook, and check it out. I stand on platforms, get rid of the delegates, all of them, and there's no more electoral vote at all. It's a popular vote. Get on it. I'm a write-in. I know you guys here in the UK can't write me in, but go ahead. Throw a ballot my way. See what happens. Um, Goldar out. Magna Defender. Hall yes. Of Fame. Why isn't the Magna Defender in the Hall of Fame? Kerrigan could be in there twice, guys. And I nominated Rita. Unbelievable. And I forgot about my favorite voiceover role of all. And I'm telling you the truth, that is, of all the characters I've played, that is my favorite role of all time. Magna Defender was also just awesome. Well, it was a great character. It was an anti-hero. It was a multiple of levels acting-wise. And it really was truly the coolest character of all for me. And I've played, in my career, I've probably played over three, 400 characters. Mm. So, you know, to say that is saying something. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, just before we wrap up real quick, um, could you just confirm any official social media accounts? It's goldar at kerriganmayhan.com is the email. We've got the true goldar dot kerriganmayhan, that's the Facebook. And YouTube slash kerriganmayhan is YouTube. Duh. And Twitter at the true goldar. And I swear I will try to become more active with my Twitter account. I used to be really active and I just have slowed down because I'm, it's just too much. I can't keep up. All right, Kerrigan, thank you very much for your time, my thank friend. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Bye, guys. Thanks for inviting me. See you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. No one will ever take them down. The power lies on their side. Hi guys, I'm here in Yorkshire Cosplay Comic Con with uh, Karen. Hi guys, I'm here in Yorkshire Cosplay Comic Con. Well, all right, you know what? It's all right, we do it all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs>